Wow, that is a big tench. That has got to be. Wow, look at that. Awesome. That looks like it could be. Wow, look at that. That's white. That's really pale. Oh, nice. Look how long that is. That's a long fish. What's that? 15? Wow, look at that. Looks like a little football. Look at that. That's a long fish. That is what's up everyone welcome back to another euro fishing video thank you to everyone that's hit that like and subscribed i really do appreciate that guys you guys mean the world to me and when i say guys i mean girls as well obviously so today i'm going to fish on presa del monte bravo now i've picked a swim in the middle of the lake it's on the north side of the lake if you like um you've got the dam to my right and the sort of where it the lake forks to my left now I'm using 13 foot uh, long range rods, not really a big need for them in here, but I like them. Uh, I've also got the 25 pound Calder braid on, it's in green, so I might change that to brown if I need to. I've got the Sonic Torno 10,000 uh, 10, reels, and I'll show you the rods as I'm going to cast them out. Uh, I've not caught anything yet i've not done anything so let's get started i am targeting the bigger fish in here though right rod number one okay so i'm using the calder kd rig size four because i can use a pop-up on that now i'm going to use the floating 20 mil tie gun up with that so let's get that out what i think we'll do is head over that way Opposite them sort of, I call it the cliffs, but opposite the cliff swim. Yeah, that's all right there, I think. Give that little tighten up. Right, number two. Is the same same rig, the size 4KD rig, but with a sinking 20mm tiger nut. Now, what I've decided to do is just what I call turn up and fish. So, I'm literally just going to fish 30 minutes straight off the bat not a lot of editing in this one guys it's literally going to be you can see me just turn up and fish right and rod three i'm going to put this back on a um floating tiger nut but i'm going to try it on an iqd rig now not necessarily the right rig for that sort of thing but it's just the game right Let's throw that out. Awesome. That'll do. Now there's a few fish rising around me. It's early morning. It's just gone seven. I did put it on a cloudy day, I swear. But it looks quite sunny. There you go. We'll see what happens. If need be, I will move. I do believe in moving. We'll just stick a bit of spot out there I think oh as soon as you get that spot out that always happens as well right this is on the uh, sinking 20 mil tiger nut so we'll see how we get on with this just lower that tension a little bit come on feels like a decent fish to be honest it's not a boss fish I wouldn't say hasn't got the power it's not trying to run us up the lake just give this one a bit of stick see if we can get it in like i say we're on that 25 pound line so we shouldn't have it too many problems come on in you come that green line might not be the one we might have to try and find some brown if we can come on where you going I've got another fish as well. Just uh, a bite on the other rod. Right, that's in catch mode. I'm going to leave it there. Flick to this other rod so we don't miss it. Now, when that symbol goes blue, you can just leave the rod down. You can change rods. And that will give you... This is a broom. See the way it's darting around. It's got to be a brain. Come on. Right, we'll get that one in. That looks like a brain. And then we'll have a look at rod two and see what we've got. Look 
at that. That's well silver. <laughs> they skimmers are silver, aren't they? Three pound eleven ounce brain. Very nice. Put that back. Let's have a look on rod two. See what we got. Let's have a look at it. Oh, nice. Look how long that is. That's a long fish. What's that? 15, 18 pounds, 20 pounds? Not sure. 19 pounds, 7. There you go. Nice mirror carp. See the scales across the top and a big, big fin on it. It's got a small little head on it, though. Still, good start. Right. So at least we know our rigs are going to work. That's the main thing. Let's get this out. I want to try to get a little bit closer to that sort of... Uh, that rock, if you like, that cliff. Okay, like I say, this is going to be 30 minutes straight off the bat, guys. Okay, sweet. Uh, not not hard enough that one. Come on, sort it out, sort it out. Got me coffee next to me, so all is good. Alright, we're good, we are set. The traps are set, so let's just see what happens. Here we go. Right, that sink bait seems to be doing okay. They seem quite interested in it. Come on. Another carp, I think. Mm, maybe a tench, coming in quite easy. I thought it'd be a carp. I like to try and guess what they're going to be. Oh, got another bite as well, so if we can get this one to the net. We're in catch mode. Come on. Let's get this one a bit closer. Let's do this. Come on. Right, awesome. Going to flick rods. all good another small one I think amazing using big baits and pulling in the smaller fish come on in you come the 8 yard dash has turned to a 5 or 6 yard dash all of a sudden come on come on get in Come on. Wow, this is fighting hard. Right, awesome. What's that? A little carp? A little tench? It's hard to see. Might be a little tench, this one. Oh, look at that. That's a nice size tench, that. Well placed. £9.7, not a boss fish. Not quite sure how. Not. Oh, that's a good size tench. Let's name it. Let's name it Bug. See that, Bug? Thank you very much. Oh. Rod 3 is just torn off. Still got a fish down in front of me as well. That we need to have a look at. Can't grumble if all three rods are going off. Even if we don't manage a boss fish, guys. We can't grumble at this. It's good spot, good action. That's what it's all about. Come on, get in the net. While you guys are watching, if you could smash that like, I'd really appreciate that. That really does help us out, guys. Helps the channel grow, and that's what we want. Has anyone seen, put in the comments below if you're watching this far in, has anybody seen that Final Fantasy Fishing Simulator game uh, that was on E3? Um, not too sure about that one. I might play it for a laugh. Wow, that is a big tench. That has got to be a boss tench. Look at the size of that. How is that not a boss? £12 one ounce. Look at that. That is huge. No, the other one I'm not going to call Bug. I'm going to call this one Bug. See that Bug? Right, let's have a look on Rod 2 then. So we can have a look what we've got. Drop the net in. Have a little drop on me coffee. 
Wow, that is a dark fish. Look at the size of them scales on it. Big apple scales. Really dark tail. Beautiful fish. £9.11. Wow, we seem to be catching a lot of fish around that sort of range. Right, this is rod two, so I'm just going to aim it over there. I want to get a little bit close to the cliffs if I can. I've got a feeling that's where the bigger fish are going to be hanging out. Okay. 40 yards. Right, let's get rod one over there. Okay, so the pop-up tigers are working. They're not targeting the type of fish that we want, but they are working. Okay, let's get rod three out. Again, I'm just going to... Oh, I think that's a bit hard. Well, we'll have a look. I'm just going to fire it over there, just... Oh, that though, that's nice, that though, 44 yards, sweet. Right, we're all along that sort of back edge as it was. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I love it, as soon as you get the spod rod out. Oh, it won't let me put the spod rod down now. Hello, thank you. Every time you get that spod rod out, got another run as well. Awesome. Oh, triple take. Oh my days. This feels like a decent fish. Alright, let's get the pressure up on this if we can. Well, I don't know. Let's give up. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's give up very quickly. Kind of just hovering around the middle there. Tempted to drop this fish and pick up one of the other rods. Come on, come on, in you come. Come in. Get in there, mate. Come on. Come on. Wow, this fish is fighting hard. I'm trying to ignore the other rods as best I can. It's quite difficult. Right, that one's ready to go. Hit the second rod. Yeah, rod three's going up the bank by the looks of it, so I don't hold out a lot of hope for that one. Don't think this one's particularly big, but we'll see. Rod three's definitely going up the bank. Look, he's going to Donald's. Come on, don't go around now come back this way nice I'll still try and get it no, it's right looks like it's right up on the bank there that looks like a cat as well it's definitely gonna come off this looks like a baby cat right okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drop that rod I might end up losing both fish here but this looked like a cat to me The other one come off. That was only a small cat. I could see by its tail on the other rod. I'm not worried about it. Look how far up the bank it's gone. Just every now and again, flicking that reel. See if we can tempt him down. Come on. He's up the bank. There's not a lot I can do about this. Usually I would edit something like this out for you guys. I'm not going to edit this out. I want you guys to see the struggle is real. There you go. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, well. Never mind, guys. That looked like a decent cat. It's danger with that bank over there. That bank over there seems to be a prime little spot for it. Okay. Let's fish that one now. We'll come sort of closer towards the middle, I think. Purely because... Uh, let's get this fish in. I almost forgot about it. Uh, purely because I, I want it to have a little bit of room to run. That's a nice common. Look at that. Really long again. Long fish. Big, Quite big scales for a common. £19. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Let's bunch our rods up a little bit. Uh, yeah. Let's do it big bug styly. Where we like to fish them rods nice and close.
30 yards. I think what I might do is I might change the text to the tactics to 15 yards out. Excuse me. Wow, sneezing. It's that time of year, guys. I don't usually suffer with hay fever. This year I've been sneezing quite a lot. Okay, here we go. It's got bream written all over it. For sure. Wow, it's fighting hard. Doing a seven or eight yard dash. Come on, get in the net. Awesome. Get in. So, obviously the goal here is to try and land one of the big boss fish, or any boss fish really, any boss fish. When I'm fishing, I like to just catch anything. Right, I'm going to have a change of plan here, guys. I'm going to wind that in. We're going to go 15 yards in front of us. That's how we're going to do it. I've got a fish down in the net there, so I'm just going to sort that out as well. We're going to fish it like we do on St. John. See if them sort of tactics work. Is there a fish down there? No. I don't know what this is doing. Oh, wow. Right. And we're going to fish our rods quite close. So that I can spot them all at the same time. Now, with this game, a lot of it is you've got to be not scared to change. So, if something's not working, change it. It's that simple, guys. Now, although it was working over there, I kind of felt that we was a bit vulnerable with that bank. But I want to give us a little bit more time to... Perfect. Right. Let's get the spot out. Straight away. Now, it's quite deep, this part of the lake. Now, I know a lot of people fish the, the little sort of... I call it like a a dike area where there's a lot of cats in there but getting them out of there is a real nightmare right here we go let it drop the bait oh we're off come on be something decent okay Starting to take a bit of line. That's a good sign. 22, 23, 24 there. This fish is heading out of town by the looks of it. See if we can pull it back. Give it a bit of stick. 32, 33, 34. This is heading for that bank. going to try and make him come around this side now I know that bank is really really bad for fish running up it this is a good fish I don't want to lose this one if I can help it now we do lose I have gone for a phase lately of losing a lot of boss fish on the bank so hopefully this will be a boss or at least something decent come on in you come in you come uh, it's not as big as I thought. I thought this was going to be a bit bigger. Oh, triple rod take as well. 15 yards out. That's a little cat by the looks of it. We'll get this one in. We are after the cats as such. Come on in you come. The 8 yard dash. Giving him plenty of stick. It's only a kitten. Come on. I want to get this one at least into the, the catch zone. Where I can leave the rod. Come on. Here you come. Right. Awesome. Flick to the next rod. We know rod three is good. Feels decent again. Probably another cat. I don't believe Rod 1's going to be anything decent. Purely for the fact that it's just hovering in front of us. See if we can uh, get this one in. Come on. 
Yep, rod one's off. Must have been a monster roach. <laughs> cool. Easy, easy. Don't be snapping that line for a roach. Come on. Mind you, some of the boss roach fight harder than the carp. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. You get a three or four pound roach and it fights like a beast. I know it would if you was on thinner line, but on 25 pound line, it shouldn't be happening really. Come on, come on. Don't want to lose you now. You're right in front of me, so. There we go. I'm just going to net this one straight away. Oh, I don't know why I've done that. Right, I'm going to net this one straight away. Let's have a look at it. Wow, look at that. Looks like a little football. Nice, nice fish. Mirror carp, big tail on it again. Nice line of scales across the top. 20 pound, 8 ounces. Can't grumble at that, guys. Right, uh, let's get this one in. Now pull it towards you if they wander out like that. So all you got to do is just ease that right analog stick back and it'll pull the fish towards you again. And just chuck it in there. Look at that. Nice catfish. Bit pale. A few sort of spots on it. Typical looking catfish if you ask me. I didn't see what weight it was. Ah, oh, press the button. Sorry guys. My bad. Right. Let's call it, I don't know, 25, 30 pound. Wasn't particularly massive. Right, we're going to go again now, I think. So we're literally fishing 15 yards in front of us. Just wind that in. Nice. Just there, though, nicely. Let's get the next rod. Keep it a little bit tighter this time if we can. Easy, easy. Oh, that there. Right. Wow, it's gone straight away. That went quite quick, I think. Um, can't decide if this is a good fish or not. It's got the slow sort of plod of a carp. Want to give him a little bit of pressure. That's it. Nah, this isn't particularly big. I'm not sure. It's, it's nah. It's coming in way too easy. Way too easy. We're gonna have to wait. I've got a fish on already. I'll keep an eye on that rod two. If that rod two starts to take off somewhere, then uh. This looks like a decent carp, to be fair. Not a boss, but definitely a good fish. Come on, come on. Get in the net. Right, nice. Rod two. Looks like a decent carp, that one. Just laying across the surface there. Yeah, this, this could be another carp definitely got that carpy feel about it that slow ploddy I'm not sure about that bank just there if they'll run up it or not hopefully they sort this out very soon they get us a patch that'll be really nice we're all waiting on that patch I think we'd all rather it be patched than the DLC come out to be honest um, I heard a rumor that the team that make the game have uh, employed another couple of people I'm not sure where that rumour come from, but to kind of accelerate it. So hopefully there's some good things to come. Hopefully we can get this new DLC, the docks. And then maybe another couple of lakes after that. Who knows? As long as I patch it, that's what counts. Come on. Yep, little common carp by the looks of it. We'll net this one. I've still got one out in front of me. Wow, look at that. That's really grey. It's kind of in colour at the back and then black and white as you look up. Look, the tail's in colour, but the rest of it's in black and white. £19. 
catching a lot of them 19 pounders right so this situation here where you pick the rod up and it's away from you you can't net it just pull it back towards you and then press x or a or whatever it is you're playing on look at that that's a long fish that is really long beautiful fish though really pleased with that one 21 pound one ounce very nice Right, let's get the rods back out. We want to fish at 15 yards, guys. Thereabouts. 15, 14, whatever. Right, let's get the next one out. So we've got one on a 20 mil tiger pop-up. One on a 20 mil tiger bottom bait. These rods are a little bit overkill for this spot, I think. 13 footers, but we'll see. I don't know about you guys. I'd like to see a few ducks on the game. Maybe a few ducks or a few swans or something. On the UK waters or whatever. Bit of wildlife. Alright, let's get the spot out. There you go. As soon as you pick the spot up. Rod tears off. It's like a trigger, isn't it? Pick it up and boom, rod goes off. It's feeling quite strong, this fish. It's quite fast, so I'm not, not sure about that. It's really setting so This could be a boss, actually, guys. I don't want to embarrass myself and say this could be a boss, but this could be a boss fish. Please don't go up the bank. Come on, give me a break. I've been snapped up so many times lately. It's I got snapped up on here, I think it's about four or five times the other night. Moved on to a different lake. Uh, moved to St. John. First fish snapped me straight up by going up the bank. I was like, oh, come on. You know when you just feel it's against you? That's how it felt. Right, okay, this one's at 32. Nah, it's died off. I thought it was going to be a boss, but it definitely isn't. It's coming in way too easy now. That's a cat. Small cat by the looks of it. Yeah, definitely a small cat. That's okay. As long as we're catching, that's all good. Wow, them other rods, though. Hit rod free. He seems to have set sail down the lake. That's the one I'm interested in. Oh, well, he ain't gone that far. He's only 35 yards. Up. We'll see how it goes. Rod one looks like he's going up the bank. Going for a picnic or something. Or he looks set to. Come on, don't go around now. Don't go around now. Now that little bay just there in front of us now, to, my, to our right, I've had Big Mama out of there twice. So keep that in mind guys, that's a nice little place to hunt Big Mama down. This is another little cat, I think. Oh, 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 easy, nearly broke the line then. Trying to watch what that rod one's doing. Ah, it's come off, there you go. He was definitely wanting to head for the bank. That was the feeling I got there. Yes, let's just put this one straight in the net. And then we'll have a look at rod two. What we got? What we got? Oh my god. I've caught roach bigger than that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 18 pound 10. Thank you very much, kitten. Off you go. Right, rod two. Let's have a look. Hopefully this one's a little bit bigger. That'd be nice. Yeah, this looks bigger. Looks huge in the water, but it's not going to be. Wow, look at that. That's white. That's really pale. That should be a boss fish, I think. £38, 15 ounce. Not bad. An albino cat, they call them. 
where they're really white looking or creamy coloured looking and they also have red eyes um, yeah nice fish not bad at all oh well right let's put this back out so we're going to go to that magic sort of 15 yards let's wind it in now the reason I fish at these sort of distances is uh, let's get that one back I'm kind of I try and think against the grain I try to do maybe what other people won't do when you sit here your natural reaction is to cast across to that cliff so which is what I was doing and I've had good fish out of here doing that but I just wanted to go and try something different so 15 yards in front of us like how I fish St John really pleased with that catfish that was excellent it was almost bright white all right right ready I'm gonna get the spod rod out oh no bites yet here we go right, I'm gonna cast past it and then wind the spod back onto it oh no I'm not we got the spod glitch anyway so it pinged backwards Right, there you go. Rod free is off as soon as that spod's in. Right in front of us. Doesn't feel very big. It's always hard to tell, but it definitely doesn't feel that big. Come on, come back. Give it a little bit more tension on the reel. Come on. Come on, you're not even that big. I love the tension thing because it was right under the tip and straining the line. I bet this is a roach. <laughs> Little carp by the looks of it. As soon as I said I bet it's a roach, it was a carp. Yeah, look at that. Nice little zip linear. First one of the day, I think. For the zip linears. Comes up as a mirror carp, obviously. £9.13 ounces. Thank you very much. Go tell your big brother, sister, whatever, that we want to catch them. Let's get this back out there. Yeah, 16. That'll do. Right, awesome. Imagine having that house up there. You could just go fishing whenever you want for monsters. Because don't forget, Megalodon's in here. I know it says on the thing, Lake Record, £100, but we'll know Megalodon's in here, £150. It seems to, I don't know anyone on the PS4 yet that's actually landed it um, I've hooked it I would say maybe two three four five times and it's walked me up the bank every time um, you have epic battles with it but then it goes bank walking and that's the end of that or you get it right in front of you to eight yards uh, I had it where it was right in front of me, eight yards out. I thought, this is it. This is in the net. I'm actually going to land one of these, either the 100 pound cat, which I think is Cheetah, or um, Megalodon. And it literally just snapped off for no reason. No reason at all. You can imagine my frustration. It took a long time to get to that point. Come on, in you come. Don't forget, if you're new around here and you're still watching, smash that subscribe for us, guys. I'd really appreciate that. And um, by doing that, I'll uh, obviously make more videos for you guys. I've been really busy lately, so I apologise about the slow uploads. Um, I 
been preparing my house for sale. So I'm getting it ready to sell it and then I'm going to be buying another house. So quite stressful times as you can imagine guys. Also don't forget to let me know what you think of that Final Fantasy fishing. <laughs> um, which was shown at E3. Some real monsters on that. It's a VR game I believe. That's a nice size car patch. Eh? It's a VR game I believe. Wow look at that. It looks like Hippo. £27.6. Can't grumble at that. They are slowly getting bigger. Let's get that rod number one. It's trying to get out the bank. Must be a. Uh... Don't forget, guys. Not all boss fish. Um, I always thought it was just boss fish that went up the bank, but it's not. It's all fish will do it if you allow them to. Um, this feels like a decent fish, actually. This is uh, kind of setting sail a little bit on me here. Oh, he's gone round that corner. Look. That's it, we're doomed. I don't mind if he heads and then goes left. Yeah, that's it. We want him to... Wow, this is really pulling. Please don't lose it. Please don't lose it. Come on. Really trying to pull him here. 53. This is a definite boss fish. Let's hope he doesn't head up the bank. So frightened. Does any, any of these banks at the moment, look at that, 64, 65. He's really heading out of town. I'm going to try and pull him this way so that he hopefully goes left. Or pull him right. He's still in the water. That's good. I'm holding him at 63. Come on. Don't get out in the middle. That's it. Get out in the middle. Nice. Wow, 65. He's heading out of town, guys. This is a real good fighting fish. I don't want to lose this fish. If he goes up the bank, we're, we're doomed. Come on. Don't go up there. Don't go up there. Oh, he's trying to get out of the water. Alright, we're going to just put a bit of tension on him. I'm not going to pull on the rod too hard. I want to try and turn him. Here we go. Seems to be working at the moment. Right, this is the danger bank now. The side that he's going now is definitely the danger bank. Right, he's coming in. He's 50, 51, 52... Just upping the tension on the reel. I'm not doing a lot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay off of that. Stay off of that. Yes. Come on. Don't go around now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Don't want to lose him under the rod tip now. Nice. Get in the net. Come on. Fingers crossed, guys, for that boss fish. Wow, look at that. Awesome. That looks like... Could be cuts. Could be cuts. Norax, a new boss fish to the to, to me personally off the list. Norax at £62, 3 ounces. Absolutely over the moon with this one. And what a way to end this uh, video for you guys. Guys, thank you for tuning in absolutely smashed it really pleased thank you for all your support guys and uh look after yourselves till the next one take care peace